like to use the word ladies and gentlemen because I like to call you all my guests and I am also the guest here. So we are all a part of this uh, Toastmasters club. I am really thankful to the organizers and uh, club members for having me here. Well, I don't know, my, let me start my time first. Because you have it, you have it. That's all right. Okay. I work on my own watch. So, friends, yes, as uh, Yashna told you, Kagil War, one of the you know, turning point of my life, my career, my everything. We'll talk about that later because that is not what I am here to talk about. So that will take offline. That's why I told her not to talk about that because the moment you talk about that, there are a lot of questions, you know, they come and they talk about that because having seen that war live in front of your eyes and been there at the ground zero makes a lot of difference and a lot of stories, of course, yes. So they are not story, stories, they are actually, I would say, the reality which the legions wrote for India in 1999, way back in 2000, 24 years ago, right? 99, this time, the war was on. The present day, what we are talking, we were in war. I remember each and every day, I know what was happening today. Because I lived all those 58 days in the war together. <laughs> anyway, coming to the point, uh, Today I am here to talk about very small topic but something which is of a great importance to all of us as a civilian, as normal laymen, wherever we are living. I am talking about a team. The team of volunteers, of course. But a team which makes a lot of difference and comes into play only and only when there is an emergency. We call it a word team. Volunteers, emergency, response, team. Why, how, and what you need to do in your day-to-day -day life to make such team. I would be really glad to help you, assist you all 24-7, 365 days if you want to create such team. But let me tell you, if you have this team, Wherever you are, it may be a gated community, maybe your office, maybe your hometown, maybe your village. Let me tell you, <coughs> this is nothing less than an army who will be there when it matters most. I'll give you a small example how it came in. So we, I am, I live in a pebble city. I am not from Hyderabad. As Ma'am said, I did my schooling from Punjab. I am from Punjab, but being uh, brought up in an army family, my father was in army and being from defense background, I always travel all over India. So it's very difficult for me to, you know, associate myself with one particular state. I think I, I best my, call myself an Indian, so I traveled everywhere. I was born in Maharashtra, I studied in Punjab, I served in all fronts, uh, east, west, all fronts with Indian army. And even with Air India, it is my fourth posting in Hyderabad. So, let's talk about the word team because I don't want to waste and divert from the topic and then we will talk about questions and answers. How many of you are from the gated communities here? Just quick. I want to have people very good. Do you have anything like this at your communities? Have you ever heard about something like this? How many of you know about Pebble City, where I stay? Pebble City, uh, near Rapa Junction. It's a gated community of about 2,000 flats, around 10,000 people. Now before I go, how this team was made, what was an idea, I will just uh, briefly touch it. I have the presentation but I am not a great fan of showing the pictures and presentations. I will do it, I will show you, but I want to talk to you more. Alright? So, I tell you how it started. Way back in 2016 and 17, somebody committed suicide in our community. Jumped off on 50 floor, vanished. Now what happened? Everybody, you know, the basic scene, if you have seen it, even the road, the road accident, you see the scene. People there, lot of crowd there, everybody talking, nobody is doing anything. That was the time we realized, now, what if we had few people who were more organized in thoughts, who were more organized in taking steps what are required to be done. So what are the steps? Manage the crowd inform the police, 
transport the body from the ground zero to hospital for the postmortem, completing the formalities. Because the families, if you accept, अरे इनके घर से है, this flat से है, let them do whatever they want. They are already in trauma. No matter what was the reason, they are not in a state to act. Who is in a state to act? Me, because I am not associated with the person. For me, it is a tragedy. We are trained, we are humans, we should help, right? The basic thing. There is a time when I thought, why don't we have set people who are designated that whenever such a tragedy happens anywhere, that was the idea initially. It got uh, you know directed a lot of other things. But why don't we have set of five people, boss? Anything happens like this, let's be on the WhatsApp. Let's make a best use of it. WhatsApp. Something like this has happened. Come to the ground zero. Now, when we come to the ground zero, and we have already talked, and this is what the Fatah party is also. You know, army. We, we, you will find me going back to army again and again because whatever I am today, the values I carry is because of Indian army. So, army may say, if you don't sweat in peace, if you don't sweat in peace, you bleed in, you bleed in war. One of my nephew, you know, he asked me, Chachu, ये क्या है? कोई लड़ाई वड़ाई होती नहीं है सुबह से शाम तक ऐसे तुम्हारे कंट्रोलमेंट में चलता है जैसे साला जंग आज ही होने वाली है। Very innocently he asked me. I said you are absolutely right. The life starts very early in Indian Army, right, right from training. And what Indian Army has seen only three wars, chemically three wars, yes. But what happens? Flood आया, army को बुला लो। You remember Kedarnath and all? What happened? When situation goes out of control, everybody turns back. State government, central government, all army, call air force. Why? Why do you think they call us? Do you think army is preparing for floods? Never. Do you think army is preparing for any uh, emergencies like some bomb blast or some evacuation? Our job is to only so safeguard the borders. We never prepare for internal conflicts. But why they call us? That trust. That if they are there, they will find out. Give you a small example. How, how many of you are from Chennai? Have you heard about uh, uh, something called Madras Sappers? Yes. yes. <coughs> they are the, I don't know, I mean, you are from IT background, no? They are the best engineers in the world. Yes. Chennai Sappers, we call it Madras Sappers. The proud of Indian Army. I have a couple of friends. What happened? Asia games were happening. You remember one bridge collapsed? Commonwealth. Commonwealth game, sorry. Bridge collapsed. Now what happened? They had nothing to do. They call army. Madras shepherds went there, created that bridge in one night. One night. Do you think they were prepared for this? No. But what they were prepared? They were prepared for everything. That is the funda. You need to be prepared for everything in your day-to-day -day life. And that's what I like the, you know, the topic of today, reaching far and beyond. And reaching far and beyond, my dear friends, what does it take to reach far and beyond? Tell me. What does it take? Anybody can give me an idea, please. I want to know. Practice. If you want to reach far and beyond, tell me one thing which you require. Sir, courage. Courage. Clarity of vision, yes. Discipline. Discipline. Consistency. Consistency. Commitment. 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 Step out of comfort zone. Step out of comfort zone. Right? Friends, these are all the steps to reach far and beyond. What, what is the first thing that you do? Take the step. Take it first. Step. Step. You should take an initiative. You need to have that thing in you here. The mindset. That I want to reach far and beyond first. How many of you approach an accident saying that I need to be here because I want to make a difference? How many of you have approached a situation when there was a fire, when there was a flood, there was anything? How many of you approach a situation saying that because I am here because I want to make a difference? I want to do something for this situation. That zeal in you is what will take you far and beyond. Because once you decide that I have to reach far and beyond, that's what will take you there. Alright? 
So now talking about this volunteers emergency response team. So this started from that suicide. We four people decided, boss, let's make a group. Let's call people from every tower and tell them whenever there is an emergency, you call us. Mm -hmm. Then we said, we said, what all emergencies can come here? So emergencies were mostly at that point of time where people were getting stuck in the lifts. Lifts were stuck for half an hour, 30 minutes. People crying and they're panicking. I said, look, yeah, this has happened 10 times in the last three months. So let's sit down. Let's see what, what happens when lift gets stuck. All we did is search the Google Baba. What do you need? What are We created a plan. Okay, lift gets stuck. Something called ARD. Emergency rescue device should come into picture. What is that? That is a battery inside the lift, which will take the lift to the, say, if light goes, lift needs electricity, but it's ERD that is emergency device, which is a battery. It should take the lift to the nearest floor and it should open. Now it is not opening. Let's get all batteries here. We got, got hold of our EC, the managing committee. We told them we need a technical people here. We want to check every battery. We found out of 12 lifts, 3 towers, that time we had, we had 4 lifts in each tower, 12 lifts, 10 batteries were gone. Nobody even thought about it. So we replaced those 10 batteries. Now we saw, okay, ERD device is over. Now what else can happen? There can be a mechanical failure. We went from A to Z. We called the Johnson & Johnson people, we called the Mitsubishi people, we called all the lifts, whichever the manufacturers were there. We asked them what other things are going to be in your lifts as an emergency point of view. They gave us a list of things. This is how you can open the lift. This is how you, if lift gets stuck in between the floors. And even ERD is not kicking in what you can do. You can go on the top. How you can mechanically rotate it and bring it to a floor and level it. How you can open the emergency. We had no idea. But it took us two hours to sit <coughs> and study about our system and came with a plan. Ki whenever lift is stuck, but you call us, we will come there and we will rescue the resident. Earlier what was happening, if lift gets stuck, we used to call Johnson & Johnson and all the people, they used to take two hours. Sometimes people getting unconscious in the lift. It has happened. It happens. Anybody of you got stuck in the lift for more than say five minutes? All of us. Very common, right? So, before people, one we did, we, what we do? Two hours of study, few steps, and we decided. Now what happened? Now we set a deadline for us. Was any lift to get stuck, let's do the rehearsal. What we will do? We went to our homes. We told our, uh, we told our, uh, this thing, one of the technical guys, you WhatsApp us, any lift in the tower gets stuck and switch it off. Let's see how quickly we open it. So in the middle of night we did it because at that point of time lift is not being used. So he said, okay, see tower, lift number four is stuck. We don't know which floor. We all came from our house, respective houses, we came, we took step one, two, three, four, and we saw we opened the lift in seven minutes, right from, starting from our home to that. So now we work. Let's go far and beyond. Seven minutes is also too much of a time for a person who is claustrophobic inside. So we set a deadline. We will open every lift within four minutes. So we worked out what was the what was the time taking process for us. The biggest time taking process was it was tower C. I used to say in tower A. So वहाँ तक जाने में भी मुझे दो मिनट लग गए. So what the solution was? Every tower should have a volunteer who should be able to reach. As quickly as possible. Now that volunteer will be there at that point of time. Who can it is that everybody has their life. किसी का काम है, किसी की मीटिंग है, किसी का फैमिली कमिटमेंट है, ऑफिशियल कमिटमेंट है. So what we did? We decided we should have more number of people, more the merrier. So we invited people. That we are making this volunteer emergency response team to address the issue of lifts. If lift gets stuck, we will train you what are the steps to take. We also got people, what we did, we went to our security. We realized these people are 24-7 there. Tower of sitting. So we made sure that these tower security guards, they should be exclusively trained to open the lifts. So we catch out of our security team, housekeeping team, technical team and the residents. So we had a group of say 20-25 people in a classroom in our clubhouse, had a board and we discussed everything as a layman language. We were really happy. This was just a pilot project. We didn't know whether it will be successful or not. But people really liked it. Now what happened? 
Now anybody gets stuck, there are 10 people to help them. And lift used to operate 3, 3 and a half minutes. Because every tower had people. That is how poverty started. Now, once that spark was ignited, now people said, why only lifts? There are medical emergencies also. <laughs> oh yes, medical emergencies also. There is a heart attack, there is a heart attack. There are so many, uh, because typically in Hyderabad, there are a lot of IT people who go US and all, and their parents stay in the DD community. So he said, yes, why not medical emergencies? So let's work on medical emergencies. What are the medical emergencies? What we need to do? The basic, most threatening medical emergency is what? Heart attack. Kabhi <coughs> aagaya, so time makes a difference. Stroke, time makes a difference. Chalo, catch all of doctors. What to do? CPR training. CPR training. Who does it? Lions club. Okay. Catch them. First CPR training for them. Then you went to hospitals. We had a team of 15-20 residents. We want them to learn CPR. If you have a mess, they should be able to save a life. Is it okay? So, continental hospital collaborated, <coughs> care hospital collaborated. They all came, the doctors came, they gave us a training. It was a paid training, what's up, 300 rupees per month, per person? Who, who can't afford it? Okay, our community went one step ahead. The managing committee said, whoever wants to do it, we will uh, sponsor it from managing committee fund. So, we have around 200 residents getting trained in our clubhouse. I'll show you the pictures. <laughs> they got trained in CPR. So now they got trained in CPR, now everybody is very yatu, okay. So we, we created a slides, the cue cards. What are the first things you need to identify? Whether it is a heart attack, whether it is something, a person is conscious or unconscious, question one, okay, he is not conscious. He is breathing or not breathing, he is not breathing, start CPR. These three things, how difficult it is to remember. Now every, every layman knows, unconscious he is not breathing. So for other, if ordinary person is standing, he said he is dead. Hey, mar gaya. Now you as a volunteer respond, maybe, maybe there is a chance. Let's start CPR. Start CPR. The word team in Pebble City saved five lives. Examples in Pebble City, you can go and meet them. They will tell you if what team was not there, I was not alive. We revived two people with CPR. The only community who went ahead, that I will tell the story, who went ahead and they went and procured AED also, a device which is only normally hospitals and airports have. The Pebble City community has an AED device, the work team has an AED device. So, which is as good as CPR, the moment we find that person needs, uh, you know, some kind of shock, just go put, it's a layman thing, just remove his uh, shirt or whatever it is, put your bags, let the team, let the AED device do the work. We used it twice, one time we could revive the person, one time we couldn't save it. But does it matter? Alright? So, okay, now what happened? Medical team, okay, why not we elaborate what happened? Somebody, somebody says, what is this? We have lot of fire equipment there, fire hydrants and this and that. Hey, how to use it? Okay, let's get into fire training now. Aap bhi to lag sakti hai. Chalo, let's get into fire training. So we got our team, we collaborated with fire brigade and we tell them if you want to do. The only community in Hyderabad I can guarantee you who has done tower evacuation of 19 floors and 140 flags in record 9 minutes in Pebble City. kind of exercise is there, doesn't need any army experience, any special experience, all you need to do is create step by step guide what to do. So what happened, now World team has 67 members, started from 4 people, 67 strong mm -hmm. members. So what we do, now World team, how do we know who is World team here? So what we did, okay fine, let's create World caps. So we made a very nice World logo, very nice World jackets, green color jackets and this members when they used to roam around in the community, everybody knows this is a World team. So what happens, you have a distinction. Moment you say, he is a World team, call him. So moment World team reaches somewhere, people say, okay, World team has come, problem will be resolved, don't worry. For them, it is the army. It is the army of Pebble City. That trust is being built in them because they know, they know what to do. Because they know what to do in medical emergency, they know what to do in accident, they know what to do in road accident, they know what to do in in a fire. Three major fire incidents 
in Pebble City, which would have otherwise needed a tower evacuation and fire brigade services for those of single handedly by four or five watt members only. The latest one, uh, one and a half years back, uh, that balcony got fired. We discharged 18 18 fire extinguishers in no time to those of that balcony fire. If it was unattended for even five years more, it would have been a tower fire rather than a major house fire. Right? So this is all the word teams. So what you need to do is simply make a group, define your area where you are, what kind of emergencies you get into. If you are in gated community, the most common thing you need to train is CPR. How to do it, all hospitals they do the trainings. It is done by Cyberabad Police also, free of cost. All you need to have is 15-20 people and a place to do it. Right? And that is how the board team will be formed. Nothing but four or five dedicated individuals who are ready to go far and beyond and create this team. No hi-fi fundas, no hi-fi knowledge. Simply that we four are there, we will respond to this X, Y, Z emergencies. And that's all. And also you connect with me. My entire work team will help you to replicate the same thing what we have in Pebble City in your communities, in your offices, wherever you want. <laughs> now I am open it for the questions and answers to you all. This is what I all had to say. Please come forward, ask me whatever you want to. In the meantime, I will show you some pictures of our team if I can tell it. It's not there. No problem. So I will individually connect with you whenever you are there that you want to make this team. My number will be there with you. You can take it. And we can take our offline on this. So, in a 20 minutes of time, I think I done with my time and I done with what I wanted you to have and please make this group on your WhatsApp if you can. It can be for anything. We have Sangmitra trained, sorry I missed that, Sangmitra trained. Sangmitra is the initiative of Hyderabad, Cyberabad Police, where they train you for dealing with the domestic violence cases. Right? Yesterday, I, I, as ma'am said, I came from Dubai, I landed in the morning only, but in my community there was a domestic violence case where war team handled it very nicely. In the night only, yesterday night, as night. So this is also very common. So Sangmitra is a program done by Cyberabad Police. I will connect you with them. I will connect you with the commissioner, and I will connect you with the organizers. There is something called SCSC. Are you aware? Society for Cyberabad. Are you aware? Yeah. So SCSC conducts that program every month. I think they do it. You get enrolled. There is a proper exam, proper certification, and you will get a connect with the C team of Hyderabad. They will be on the WhatsApp WhatsApp group with you. Your call and C team is there. So you can deal with the domestic violence cases also. So these are the few things, you know, sky's the limit, I tell you. There are a lot of other things, I minor things I talk, talk about. There is also traffic volunteers who can manage traffic. We have done tower evacuations, we have done, you know, basement evacuations and floods. Our beautiful Pebble City Bagal Lake it was over floated towards the Pebble City side. We conducted that evacuation in a most streamlined way. And the trust people have is on you, wherever work team is there, all right, we are relaxed. Work team is there, no worries. Right? So this we will do and I open it to you all. Right? You as a team 
will be the one who did something. It doesn't matter whether you succeed or you don't succeed. Please remember that. You will, I told you, we saved five lives and I could not save my best friend. He died right in my lap. I was doing a CPI. 47 year old, loyal friend, you know, Prashar, very good guy. Heart attack early in the morning, we reached. We used AED device also. And only for him, we could not save him. We saved everybody else. So, I can have this guilt in me always. Or I can be proud that at least I saved four lives. So, choice is yours. What do you want to take it? Do you want to take it? You want to take it? Right? So there will be backlash, people speak and let me tell you a good thing about community. Even I see people don't go to the ECs of your committees. You know, when they say, okay, we are forming a committee, managing committee, in gated communities, you have your owner's associations and all. People don't participate in that. Why? Are there any boss, no boss blame that? Because I tell you one thing, the good and bad people, there are two types of people. The good people, they never come forward, they keep quiet. They keep quiet, but they will keep quiet. Right? Because they don't want to get into it. They have their own troubles. They have their own life, own commitment, social life, family life. Why do I have to do this? I have to do it. 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 One. So these are the people who see the things happening. But they don't answer. Now, you will find every time, all issues would have seen. I was a general secretary for Pepper City. So you will see every time. Oh, this is wrong. This is high-headed. This is a body. This is not a person. This is a rude. Now these are, every time you will, if you go back, out of 100, there will be only 10 people who will be speaking all the time. And that 10 will be what? One person of population. Right? That one person will keep speaking all the time, keep criticizing you all the time. But the fact is you need to focus on that 99 person who is not speaking, not on that one person who is speaking. Because they will always make the noise. The 99 person who is not making noise is the one you need to focus on. Isn't it? Because they are happy with your work. So, don't get bothered or don't get disturbed when you are criticized. They are behind you for a reason. Because you are doing something and they are criticized. They are behind you for a reason. Always more. Right, ma'am? We are running out of time, so anybody, any other question? Quickly? Yeah. Yes, sir. If there is a situation where you are helping somebody who has just collapsed, you are not sure whether your CPR would help all the ambulance, but in the meantime, you try to save that person. If the ambulance is not coming and somebody has to admit that person to the hospital, are there any challenges or the process? Okay, so this is a more question of about how to handle a situation. Let me tell you, when you come to the medical situation, when you are an emergency responder, first of all, for us, nobody is dead. Even it is dead. Right? Because you are a responder. Two things you always remember. If the person is not conscious and is not breathing, there is no point taking him in your own vehicle to the hospital. So this is all coming in the training. I am just answering you. Because he is not, he's not breathing. So what next? Four minutes, brain will be dead. What is the point? Waiting for and taking him into the... Because when you are taking him into your own car, you are minimizing the chances of his revival through CPR. All you need to keep doing is CPR at the present position and wait for the ambulance to come. Because when the ambulance will come, they will be with all life support. So if that person has one percent probability of living, that living probability is only and only if you are doing CPR and trying to revive him. But other cases, if you have a heart, bleeding, and he is conscious, you just press it, get a guy, go in the car, don't wait for ambulance. It's not a life critical situation, but it will become a life critical if there is a blood loss. So now you can go and take your own vehicle. That will happen mostly in the road accidents. Person lying unconscious, bleeding, low body, margya, margya, margya. He is alive. Log usko pehle declare kar dekhte And also remember that anywhere you helping an accident victim, any hospital, neither a doctor, not police can ask you a question. Okay, this is Supreme Court ruling. You, you should be aware of it. 
take my number anywhere in Hyderabad you get stuck, any hospital or any police troubles you because you have helped a roadside victim, give me a call and I will make sure that cop is suspended. To be very, very honest, Hyderabad police is the best police. They are very good people. Very happy. They are the one who will always protect you. And if you do something good for the, you are a smart, uh, you know, citizen of this city or country, they are always there with you. They will never trouble you. I have never seen such an incident where police has troubled somebody for helping someone. Never. It may happen in other states like in North but never in Hyderabad, right? So, that is what you have to do. So, don't worry about the results. I, again, I said, when you approach a problem, don't worry about the result. Whether it will be or not, it will be or not, it will be or not. You focus on your task, what you need to do. Because that is what is required at that point of time, not the result. If he lives, you have some proud in you and you will go to your bed very happily. If he doesn't live, you did your best. You are the only one who did something for him. That's it. Remember that. You are the only one who tried and who did something for that person who was in distress. So be that person who will make a difference. The result is not important. I have to ask you one thing. What is the best thing about sports game? Cricket खेलते हो कोई कोई भी sports खेलते हो? Any tennis, football, sports? Who all plays games? Tell me what is the best thing about games? Sport. You will be a team player. You know how to play. Team player. Team player. Right. Correct. Team player. Team player. What? 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 Enjoy the game. Okay. You don't lose until you lose. You don't lose until there's never giving up. But have you ever thought the only one thing in this life? which can teach you how to take loss. Harna kaise, harne ko accept karna hai. Only games can teach you. No other thing can teach you in life. You lose a life, will you be happy? No. You lose a game, you learn a lot of things. Jo games hai na, wo aapko sikhati hai ki haar ko kaise sabikar karna hai. The only games. That is why games are integral part of Indian Army. All army officers, all army trainings you will find they are very good sportsmen. Why? For this reason. You don't become psycho for winning. Winning is not important, let me tell you. Winning is not important. It's a very different statement you would be hearing from me. Winning is not important. Wanting to win is the most important thing. Because when you are wanting to win, you will give your 100%. Right? Result will never come in your favor. Like I talk about Kargil war now. Kargil will be won. Right? I don't like to talk about Kargil. Because I lost 40% of my batmates. I lost my brother. Real brother. I lost my best friend who was there with me 13 years. So it's a painful memory for me. But we won. So it was in order to win medals, you have to go through wars. And if you go through war, you have to bear the burden. You have to lose. You have to sacrifice. So those who want war, they never fight it. And those who fight, never. they never want it. So, always remember, there is always a soldier in you. You all individuals are an army in themselves. An army, not a soldier. You guys can, you know, invert the outcome upside down, alone, single-handedly, if you are committed to do. You can save a life, you can change a situation, you can make a difference. Reaching far and beyond. And that's, it. that's all. That's all you need.
take my number please do work on making this working don't take it as a simple lecture okay that is my humble request to you all create this whatsapp group sitting there right now add your friends and tell them what you going to do and it will happen let me tell you it will happen always uh, plan to do a lot of things and never done it the story of word was a classic example of not planning doing and learning on the job a classic example of prototyping if you will so uh, i think this is a good stretch of that and really jumps to the inspiration part and i think for not, if not for anybody for me i got the gusto to do more so do reach out to him Uh, I don't know if they reach out for the word, but they might reach out for Air India card discount. I'm not sure. <laughs> so yeah, uh, thank you so much for giving your two years to this uh, topic, and do connect with him offline. He's here for that. And uh, yeah, that's about my time. I'll give you the stage to Toastmaster.